Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given quadratic equation with negative exponents. Before we get started, we want to simplify things a bit. I want you to look at these negative exponent part over here, x power negative 2 and x power negative 1. We want to make these exponent positive. That's not a really hard job. We can simply write this 4 over x power 2 at the bottom. If you change the position, you put it, you put it at the bottom, that becomes the positive exponents. Likewise, 5 over this simply become x power 1 and minus 6 equal to 0. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to remove these fractions. So what is the least common denominator for these, the bottom ones? It is x squared is the least common denominator. So the easiest way to do this problem is I want you to multiply by x squared with each and every term across the board. So far so good. So now what happens is, next one is this x squared and x squared, this is gone. So we ended up with four plus, see right now one x is cancels out. We just left with one x only. So five times x minus six time x squared and on the right hand side is zero time x squared is zero. So the next thing what we wanna do is I want you to move all these terms on the right hand sides. Just drag them up. So, so zero, once you move everything, we're gonna have a zero on the left hand side and this negative 6x squared become positive 6x squared. This positive 5x become negative 5x. And finally, this positive 4 becomes negative 4. Now, I want you to look at this fact. If 0 equals to an a, doesn't make any difference if I put a equal to 0. So what I want to do is I want to put zero on the right hand side because it won't make any difference whatsoever. So I'm going to put down 6x squared minus 5x minus 4 equal to zero. And this is a quadratic equation and we want to solve it by just simply factoring. So the possible factors are 3x minus 4 and the next factor is 2x plus 1. So far so good. And now we can split them up. We can break them up. I can put down 3x minus 4 equal to 0 and 2x plus 1 equal to 0. So far so good. I want you to move this negative 4 on this side. So this simply become 3x equal to 4. I want you to divide both sides by 3. So x turns out to be 4 over 3 as one of the solution. Let's do this one over here on the right hand side. I want you to move this one on the other side. So that's going to become negative one when you drag it on the other side, negative one divided by two. So X turns out to be negative one over two as another solution. And thus our Solution set turns out to be negative 1 over 2 and 4 third. That's our answer. And by the way, I have a one note for you guys. 
You can see my another video tutorial on the same topic, but I used a different method that is also a very interesting one. And here I put down a link. This video looks like this one. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.